Hey everybody, this is Marulu, and welcome to a special Valentine's Day themed Let's Play of Don't Die Dateless Dummy. This is an indie game on the Xbox Live Marketplace. Uh, I'm playing this today on behalf of Booga, and um, you can go over there to see more Let's Play videos by some great guys. Uh, so that being said, let's get started with uh, Don't Die Dateless. <laughs> Test start. Okay, so we're starting a new game. Choose a name. I am Marulu. Um, can I turn it like, oh, okay, there we go, not caps. Mm -hmm. And, okay. Well, shit. <laughs> Another summer wasted without doing anything worthwhile. How did I turn out to be such a loser? How did I graduate high school without having a single girlfriend? I sympathize. I also graduated high school without having a single girlfriend. All right. I spent my entire bleeping adolescence sitting on the computer playing MMORPGs and surfing the web all day. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like me. College classes start tomorrow, so I'd better get my bleep straight or I'll wind up a 30-year-old kissless, hand-holdless virgin. <laughs> and you know what they say, if you keep your virginity until the day you turn 30 years old, you become a wizard? <laughs> what? So, do I want to go around mercilessly scorching my unsuspecting toes with giant barrages of fireballs, or do I want to improve myself be confident and get with a nice girl. Um, personally, I like fireballs, but I guess if you wanted to, you know, be a good human being. <laughs> Screw magic? No! I want a girlfriend. What are you gonna do before bed? Go to the bathroom, go to the living room, go to the computer. I want to go on the computer, <laughs> which is probably not a good idea. Your temptation gets the best of you, and you foolishly log into the MMORPG that you wasted countless hours playing. What were you thinking? I was thinking... I wanted to check my auctions? <laughs> with the intent of only going on one last adventure with your e-friends, your addiction kicks in and suddenly you find yourself losing track of time. The sun rises, but why... But what are you doing still playing? Don't you have class to get to? On that day, you decided you'd rather stay in playing games all day instead of trying to make something of yourself as a neat? Oh, what? I don't know what a neat is. Your life progressively gets worse and worse as the years pass. Okay. Never getting a chance to have a relationship, your 30, 30th birthday approaches. Shit, you're losing me. <laughs> the end. <laughs> I fail. Oh. Okay, that's the let's play, guys. See you later. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, let's uh, let's try that again, shall we? Apparently, it stands for not in education, employment, or training. The more you know. All right, let's try this one more time. Okay. Oh, I went to the bathroom. <laughs> I guess. You're on your way to drop the kids off at the pool. <laughs> I have never heard that euphemism before. That's excellent. When you notice your sexy self in the mirror and start flexing, not satisfied with what you see, you drop down and do 20 push-ups. Ah, that's better. <laughs> you become motivated to start hitting the gym. Earn one strength. <laughs> Tomorrow will be my first day as a new man. I'm tired of being a loser, tired of wasting my time in front of the computer playing games, watching my Ch Chinese cartoons. Why Chinese? Are they not most of them Japanese? Whatever. And idiotically trying to be an indie game developer. <laughs> Back when I was a kid, everything was so happy, but now everything is so sad. Time to do something different and stop moping around expecting things to get better. 
Man, all this work just to get chicks? Now that I think about it, don't girls have it a bit too easy? I mean, in order for a man to be desirable for a woman, he has to be fit, be rich, be confident, be funny, be outgoing, have ambitions, have friends, and have interesting hobbies. <sighs> what is a mouthful? What does a woman have to do to be desirable by men? Um, she has to have tits and a vagina, and most women have those things. Not to be fat? Ouch! No fat chicks. If you're a female shut-in, people reach out to you and you're thought of as cute and shy, but if you're a male shut-in, you're basically bleeped. <coughs> Arg, I need to stop thinking like this or I'll end up a better neckbeard <laughs> posting misogynistic rants on the internet message boards all day. It's time to stop making excuses, get out of my comfort zone, and make the world mine. Now for some shut-eye. You wake up from that damn recurring, reoccurring nightmare of a bear chasing you, uh, and you realize it's time to get ready for class. You head to the kitchen and get some breakfast. What I would want for breakfast? Oatmeal with lots of blueberries or eggs, bacon, and ham? I want eggs, bacon, and ham because screw oatmeal and screw blueberries. You have a nice meaty breakfast in pro rich in protein. Hey, where are the pancakes? You're in one strength. You arrive at your college campus and head towards the building where the first class is being held. On the way home, you notice a girl perusing a, a map of the campus with a puzzled look on her face. Damn, she's cute. Looks like she's still trying to figure out where her class is. Should I go help her? Or will I seem like a creeper? Why should I help her when this other dude's right next to her is scratching his head looking at the map with an even more confused expression? She'll just think I'm trying to get in her pants. Which you are. Or which I am? I'm not sure. Wait a minute, isn't this exactly what I'm trying to do? You decided to talk to her. Aw, she's cute. I like her hair. Hi, what building are you looking for? The Humanities Hall. Do you know where it is? Yes. Liar. Uh-oh. <laughs> what do you mean, yeah? You have no idea where the Humanities Hall is. You realize this and you stand awkwardly trying to come up with something to say. Uh, oh, ha <laughs> ha. Never mind, I don't know where it is after all. Um, okay, I'll just keep looking. Thanks anyway. <laughs> she looks a bit annoyed as you run off to class. Well, how was I supposed to know I didn't know where it was? Maybe he was a genius and he knew where it all was. You get to class and look for a place to sit down. Damn, that girl looks cute. Should I next? Shit. <laughs> Should I sit next to her? Oh, bleep. Stop thinking and just do it. The old me would have taken his seat tucked away in the back, but now's the time to take every opportunity as they come. Let's do this. You take a seat next to the girl. That was the easy part. What are my next moves? There are a couple of minutes left before class starts, but should I talk to her now? What the heck am I supposed to do about, or to talk about? Do I introduce myself or would that seem weird? Do I casually, casually ask some bullshit question to break the ice? What if I say the wrong? This guy is way too self-conscious. Holy balls. <clears throat> like, talk about try hard. <laughs> Man, why do guys always have to initiate everything? Damn gender roles. This game is extremely, like, kind of sexist in thinking that, oh, whatever, I am playing, you know, a dating sim. I should probably expect it not to treat women like equals, but hey. Well, I guess I can sit here complaining and getting nowhere, or I can just deal with it and man up. You turn towards her and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Rulu. Hi, I'm Leah. Nice to meet you. Have you heard anything about this class? Is the professor hard? That's what she asked. Oh, not really. Nobody I know has taken it. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Glad I got here in time, though. The campus map confused the crap out of me. Me too, hee <laughs> hee. Shit, was it always this easy? I'm so in there. <laughs> Uh, what do you want to do next? I don't want to lean in a bit closer. That's kind of a creeper thing to do. I want to ask her what her major is. What's your major? Journalism. What about you? 
Um, dating sims. That's that's my major. I'm undecided and I haven't really figured out what I'm interested in yet. That's okay, you still have a lot of time. Haha, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a few more students walk into the classroom. Leah glances towards them. Sorry, I'll be right back. I have to go check on something. I should do stupid voices for everyone. <clears throat> Leah leaves the room and comes back a minute later as the lecture starts. The hour passes by and you can hardly contain your excitement. <laughs> wow! Really? You have one little introductory conversation and you're like bursting in your pants. Yes, class is almost over. Time to continue our conversation from before. Maybe I can ask her if she wants to have lunch with me. You sly dog. <laughs> However, just as the class ends, Leah immediately rushes out of the classroom before you have a chance to say anything. Huh, guess she's in a hurry or something. You tough it out through the rest of your classes like a champ. College ain't so bad. What do I want to do now? Hmm. Look for a club on campus to join. Go to the gym, go home and study. I'm a buff manly man, so I'm going to go to the gym because no fat chicks. <laughs> You go to the gym for the first time in ages and you work on the usually routine of squats, bench presses, and deadlifts. I don't know what deadlifts are. I'm assuming they sound very painful. <laughs> After your workout, you head home and take a nice hot bath. Keep it up, the confidence will be sky high before you know it. Two strength. I'm so powerful. Not much brains. But lots of power. The day draws to a close and you earn some well-deserved rest. Good job today. All it took was a bit of determination and courage, but you've met two pretty girls. Hopefully you don't screw it up like you usually do. <laughs> what do I want for breakfast? Oh, sausage and waffles. What the hell is avocado toast? A hearty breakfast to start off the day strong. Earned one strength. You get to class early, hoping to get a chance to talk to Leah again. Yes, she's here! Ah, oh, will I be able to talk to her every day for the whole quarter? Hi, Leah, how's it going? Hi, really. Oh, sorry, I forgot my voices. Uh, how do you like your classes so far? They're okay. Shit, what am I supposed to do after this small talk phase? Might as well keep it going. So where are you from? The outskirts of town. I'm living with my sister now in an apartment near the campus. Oh, are you close with her? Pretty close. I'd rather live with her rather than having a stranger as a roommate. Do you have any siblings? I have a baby sister. I hope she won't miss me too much. She used to make me play dolls with her all day, and now she makes me do the voices over the do the yeah, do the voices over the phone. Oh, for dolls. <laughs> Hee <laughs> hee, aw, that's so sweet. Do one of the voices for me. I am doing a voice for you. <laughs> eh. Come on. Fine, I'll do it sounds like you're grumpy. And I don't want to sound like I'm grumpy to her, but if I say no way, she'll be like disappointed. These are hard things to consider. I hate dating sims. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. In a funny voice. Miss Tibbles, are you ready for tea? We're having biscuits today. What, what? Ha ha ha, that's so good. I can see why she loves you so much. I'm sure most brothers wouldn't do that for their little sisters. <laughs> Leah glances towards the door as more students come in. Sorry, I've got to move to a desk closer to the front. I can't see too well. She gets up quickly and moves seats. What the heck? That's twice that happened. Does she not even want to be seen talking to me or what? Whatever. This time I'll chase her after class no matter what and ask her what the deal is. Like, dude, we've had two introductory conversations and now you're my girlfriend. So why are you winning off? Leah runs off as class ends just as you predicted. You follow her and catch her in the stairway. Leah, wait up! Marilu? This might be a strange thing to ask, but is there something bothering you? Yeah? <laughs> I mean, you seem to be avoiding me when there are people in class, so I was wondering what was going on. Am I embarrassing you or something? 
No, not at all. I like talking to you. It's just... I have class now. Can we talk about it over lunch? The both of you exchange phone numbers and she runs off again. Wow, this is the first time I've gotten a girl's number. Is my luck finally taking a turn for the better? You enter it in your cell phone right under mom. <laughs> oh dear. This is so totally my life. <laughs> You have some time to kill before lunch with Leah, so you go to the library to photocopy the pages of the textbook that your math class uses. Buying the textbooks for all these classes is highway robbery. Yes, it is. Might as well try to save some money. Hey, it's the girl from yesterday. Let's talk to her. Hey, did you find your class okay yesterday? I did. No thanks to you. Wow! Cunt. Crap, she's mad. What do you do? I want to tell her off, but that would be mean. Screw it, I'm mean. What's with that shitty attitude, man? <laughs> I was trying to help you back there, but I guess... But I guess it was good I didn't. Girls like you were, what's wrong with this world? <laughs> wow! Fuck you and your family. I hope you flunk out of this school and end up on the streets, you no good dirty slut. <laughs> I'm not very nice. <laughs> you take the book she's reading and throw it across the room. Yeah, because that's a totally reasonable reaction. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> you continue your angry rants with language so vulgar that reciting what was said would just be in bad taste. People around you notice and you're thrown out of the library by security <laughs> with a reputation as that crazy dude. Leah's too scared to talk to you again and after hearing the stories about you, your grudge against women grows, making you a better loser too far gone for saving <laughs> anymore. Although you focused your rage against the world into school to get good grades and start a promising career, you spend the nights regretting how you've turned out. Before you know it, the dreaded 30th birthday comes and you're still dateless, hugless, handholdless, kissless virgin. You're a wizard, Marilu. The end. <laughs> that was hilarious. But sad. I didn't get a date. Uh, anyway, we might continue this on in another video. Um, I'm having actually a lot of fun with it. It's hilarious. So I'll say thank you for watching. Make sure you check out the Booga channel for other great Let's Play videos. They have a lot of hilarious stuff up there. And you can check out my channel if you want to see other stuff that I've done. And hopefully we'll see you there.